stuff, you know? I know it all. Don't listen to him. He's an ink and poop. The guy is a radio genius, Right, so this is an Enisecu WP9900. This is a VHF, UHF transceiver. It does 25 watts, 200 channels, uh, covers, uh, 136 to 174 and 400 to 4, uh, 480. So goes up to 25 watts and... Uh, my time with this radio is coming to an end. I, this is a loner. Moonraker have lent me it to uh, have a play with it and see if I like it. I must say I do like it. It's very easy to use. It's uh, at the moment it's ninety nine ninety five, regular pl uh, price one oh nine ninety nine, and it it's out of stock. But that's not a problem, as with any Moonraker products that are out of stock. If you put your email address in. They'll notify you when it when it comes back in stock. So that's pretty cool. Now, this radio is very handy. You can stash this part away somewhere under a seat or on the floor. And just rely, just hold the microphone. So this is pretty cool. Now, you've got three lines on the display. The top line is a channel. If you see where that green dot is, the green triangle, that's indicating we're on the top line, which is channel. And you've got two VF... Uh, that's a channel. I thought that was the VFO. And you've got the VFO on the bottom. Channel. Channel. VFO. So this button is marked up. VFO and memory and all it does is cycle through these different lines so very nice clear display isn't it very good vivid color Vi vivid colorful display so uh, let's try and get some contact so I've just got it tuned up on a repeater this is on GB3PI and I'll go to the VFO. Two E zero UKH uh, trying to get in on GB three PI. Yeah, not sure if I'm working. I'm trying to get through on GB3PI. Uh, is this uh, radio sounding OK? Uh, 2E0 UKH. So beautiful audio on it. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, the name this way is Chris, 2E0UKH, and I'm just shooting a video if it's okay. I'm testing out a, it's called an Enisecu WP9900, and uh, it's one of these small mobile radios, 25 watts, but the screen and all the controls are in the microphone, so it makes it super handy. Uh, back to you. the one you mean, uh, very compact. Um, I'm, I'm using a compact radio myself right now. This one's a CRT Micron UV, um, also running 25 watts right now. Um, slightly quiet. Um, I'm, if you maybe maybe try, I don't know how I'm coming across to you, but if maybe you bring the mic slightly closer. Um, but otherwise, the, the the signal strength and everything else, and the the copy is absolutely fine. Yeah, well, I did say, you know, I'm I'm doing a video, I'm recording a video, and I'm sort of speaking into a camera, so I'm just going to hold it nearer to my mouth, 
So that's how I'd normally speak into it. That's speaking, you know, an inch or two away from it. Um, what's the uh, audio like speaking into it? Back to you there. Absolutely perfect. Speaking into it and it's crystal clear, very sharp. Yeah, no, no problems at all. Yeah, OK, well, that's awesome. Um, it's a beautiful little radio. It's just got a tiny little body on it. And the screen is uh, very colourful. And um, it's got three lines on the display. It's got top line is a channel. The next line is a channel. And the line below that is the VFO. So uh, it's really unusual how they've done it on this radio. But it, it seems to work really well. Back to you. The colours are all changing, I noticed that. Sorry, my friend, I've just had family come through the door. I'll just, um, I'll just go QRT for a few moments. Yeah, well, that's OK. You go and enjoy your spend time with your family. I'm just doing a radio chat, you know, um, and I'm just trying to get some someone on the other end. So, uh, anyway, you go and enjoy your time with your family, and thank you for taking part at 2 e 0 ukh Thanks very much. I'll be speaking to you again soon. M0NFJ, going clear. OK, so I'm super impressed with this radio. It's good value. It's a good size and it's quite unique. There's not many like this, is there? Um, I'm really bowled over by this screen. I think it's fantastic. It's got a menu system, which is very similar to the Bayo Fangs. But it's far superior. Quite a lot of menu items. You know, so you can pause it, you know, if you want to look at these menu items. So you can give, you can program it from the VFO to a memory. You can give it a channel name. It's programmable from the computer. That's the best way to do it. You can do it from the radio. So I'm just going to have a flick about on the simplex frequencies, you know, uh, not repeaters, actually on simplex. So uh, I've got it. So I'm in VFO mode and it's going to come out of there. And I've got it set up with an offset. So to take the offset away, I've got to go in the right menu, of course. You can change the colours. around here somewhere and I'll press menu and it drops down to the actual item and then you can choose plus minus or off so menu back to come out press exit so now I can have a little flick about on the uh, simplex channels that's a digital repeater that's what fusion sounds like on FM. CQ, 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 two echo zero uniform kilo hotel. Looking for any calls? So I'm on high power, I'm on 25 watts on the top. So no one on the calling frequency, I didn't expect there to be. Yeah, I should take that beep off really. It's starting to get annoying. got 
high, mid and low power. Beep. So familiar, you know, if you're if you're used to these bio fangs, this is a very uh, familiar system. And it's just so easy to use. You know, and it's so colourful. I love it how, you know, when I was on that repeater a minute ago, how it changes colour. Very interesting radio. It's got the voltage there. And something I noticed on an earlier video I did, when you talk or make a noise, even if you're not transmitting, this mic, that number changes. See it jumping up, the number. It's really weird. So uh, it's clearly a lot more than a a simple radio. You know, it's um it's very good receive on it actually. As usual, you've got to find some activity, and when you <laughs> when you're doing a demo, that you, it's always the way. There's no one on. But uh, no, this would make a fantastic radio to put in the car. I think about a hundred pound. I think I think that's very good value. Let's just try another repeater. GB3 EM. Don't click that one by accident or it will reset everything. So put it back to minus and press exit to come out. Two E zero UKH. Uh, just looking for a quick radio check. I'm just testing a fairly new radio. Uh, listening for any calls. Yeah, nothing hurt. Uh, just testing a radio. Just after a radio check, really. Uh, 2E0 UKH in the UK, listening. 2E0 FO, okay, yeah, you got good clear audio in the box, my friend, no worries. Yeah, okay, well, that's awesome. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate that. The name is Chris, uh, 2E0 UKH. I'm just shooting a video, actually, if that's okay. I'm testing out a radio. It's called an Any Seku. WP9900. It's a small uh, £100 radio, very small body, you can stash away somewhere under a car seat or, you know, in a glove box. And all the screen and the controls are on the microphone. Uh, back to you. Well, Roger, that sounds interesting. To be honest, it's not one I've heard of. <laughs> but, uh, yeah... Well, I'll say, yeah, I won't throw you. I've not got you on the return, on the uh, reverse, but, uh, yeah, you're a strong signal in, and, uh, like I say, good clear audio. I can't do much more than that, because you're going to, obviously going through a repeater. Yeah, well, you heard me on the input, so, uh, I mean, I'm up near Harrington, that sort of way. How, you know, whereabouts are you? How many, how many miles away are you? I'm based in Wigston, I'm four miles south of Leicester, and I'm approximately about somewhere between 12 and 15 miles away from the repeater. Yeah, I mean, you're coming in fantastic, but I'm fairly close to this repeater. But the main thing is you heard me on the input, so, uh, you know, this, ra this radio is 25 watts, so that, considering the size of it, you know, the size of the radio... Uh, it's quite usable. Uh, back to you. Yeah, Roger, Rod. Sounds like it'll be a nice, uh, nice mobile, uh, being that size. But yeah, anyway, my friend, I can't stop. I'm, uh, <laughs> I've got to nip back downstairs and uh, carry on getting with the, with the dinners ready.
Yeah, that's uh, perfectly OK. Well, thank you for taking the time to come back uh, with the radio chat. Much appreciate that. I'm just shooting a video, so uh, you'll be in it if that's OK. All right, sir, on that one. No problems at all. No problems <laughs> at all. Anyway, 2E0, that's OK. Back to monitoring unless you After all, uh, QS1 to the kitchen. 73 my friend. You take care. Yep, 73, uh, 73, 2E0 UKH going clear. Cheers. OK, so I think he's gone. So that was a good demo. Got a few contacts, a few repeaters. And um, it's quite funny. You know, this is a mobile station and... Um, you know, mobile radio, and I oh, just, you know, I've got this nice wood here, you know, got a nice, this nice sort of presentation, but I, I'm in my car, I'm in my messy car, really, <laughs> and see, I've got the, uh, got the ICOM 7100 there, and of course, this isn't, this isn't a fair comparison, but, uh, what I'm saying is I'm used to something like this and I've enjoyed my time on the any Seku WP9900. You know, it's a beautiful little radio. Absolutely beautiful little radio. I'm really amazed by the screen. That's a better screen than the ICOM ID52. Uh, anyway, I've got to return this radio, but... Uh, I'm giving this one the thumbs up. I'd recommend programming it uh, using the computer. Makes it a lot easier. Although you can do it from the uh, from the keypad. Okay, seven three two e zero UKH.